Right, today we are with AK Tiling, Mr. Andy, or as we like to call him, Terry the Tiler, and he is gonna teach us how to grout a mosaic tile. So he's gonna teach you how to grout using... Mapai, we we're using Mapai today, we're using Caracola SF. She's one of my favorite brands to use, and that's basically the color we're using, 114, which is anthracite. There is a color chart on the internet, you can have a look and see which uh, colors you prefer. Put a little bit of water in the bucket. You don't want too much, because it can catch you out. So basically, it can go off quicker than you think, so don't, right. don't mix too much. You can always mix a bit more. When it's dark color grouts, it's always best to wear gloves, because it can stain your hands. What sort of consistency are we gonna go for? Well, when you we don't want it wet, wet, and you don't want it too dry. So only add a bit of water at And what's that, that tool you've got, is that? This is called a squeegee. So this is what we put the grout in with. Right. So all you need, basically, if I was doing a big area, I'd use a washboard, which basically is a sponge on a handle. Yeah. And you can squeeze it off, roll it off on the rollers, and, and then do a bigger again. area. But for a little air mosaic, get really little areas, you can get away with just a sponge, a grain sponge and a bucket of water. If you wet your ceiling line, it's easier to get the grout off. You don't want your tiles wet. You want to keep your tiles dry. Always keep your edges of your trap. You squeeze your clean, push it in, push it against the ceiling. Keep pushing it in. You want to push it quite deep. So we're squeezing it into the ceiling. And keep pushing it in and using the edge to pull off. With these shiny tiles, your grout sometimes tends to sink. So right. always put one coat in and then sometimes put another layer in, just in case wait it sinks. Wait for that to dry. Because it's so shiny, yeah, wait for it to dry. And then go again. Then I go again, but that's only if it sinks in place. Right. But I find that a lot with uh, the big shiny tiles. It's all about saving money. Like what Andy's doing where he's putting a bit in at a time, if he'd knocked that whole bag of grout up, for example, but probably half away. he only needed half of the bag of grout, you've just wasted 20, 30 quid or whatever the grout is, for the sake of trying to be a hero and do the whole entire yes. thing in one go. Best to leave that to dry now. Don't worry if there's a little bit more because it will be dry. It will just turn into dry dust and we'll just wipe it off. You see how it's sort of starting to dust off? It's not quite there yet, but it's, it's starting to get dusty, you see? But it starts going dusty. We we'll let that go a little bit more and then Andy's going to clean that off. And that would be how to grout a mosaic tile. So, so now the mosaics are dry, we're gonna do clean them off now. The final bit of dust that's left on the tile from the grout, sir. So basically you can either use two things, you can either use a bit of kitchen roll, which it leaves a few little white bits, which is best to use a microfiber, but that's what I prefer to use. So what you do, now your grout's dry, see the dust, it's literally just on the surface. You just wipe it off. Now your grout's dry enough so it's not ruining any grout. Wipe the mosaics down. So that is how you grout mosaics to a professional finish. And it's nice and clean, and then, boom, that is it. That is a lovely finish. Watertight, nice perfect color for the mosaics. Wow, what a beautiful feature in the bath.